And here is the roster. This is probably going to be one of the most interesting rosters in the entire western part of the entire northwest Oregon by a lot. So, you might be thinking, our be might be thinking, what's your best locomotive? Well, the best locomotive, obviously, is this guy. This is uh, number 1701. He is a 442 Atlantic, and he's pretty fast, and he also has a fair amount of running speed, but he's pretty weak. I would call like uh, three, three, two or three passenger cars on a grade. Now, looking at our freight engines, we have three of uh, basically the same freight engine we have. Uh, 3371 in the back here is a Great Northern, uh, unique Great Northern, uh, you know, with black paint. We have one with green paint, that's 2537. Now, this locomotive is one that has, uh, that's the only one that's painted green. And then we have this one, this is a 4073, this is a 282 Mikata also, and this also is from the Burlington, the, the Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy. So the locomotives here, you see here are, this is a small example of some of the things I have that are operable. Uh, 3371 uh, may not be able to do today, but we're going to try to do at least uh, a few of them. I won't be able to run the inside part of my layout, but I will do the outside. So let's go ahead and get right to it, shall we? So you might be wondering, what is this locomotive anyway? Well, this locomotive I inherited from another collector, and that collector, unfortunately, is no longer with us. And this lo this locomotive is a custom-painted, custom-numbered uh, 282 Mikado uh, with a Great Northern uh, tender, and it has a Vanderbilt tender. This one is not DCC. This is just standard DC. This one has one of the original motors in it, and this one probably will not be able to run on DCC unless I get a can motor for it. So, uh, the look, uh, do I have? I do have plans for it to become DCC and sound, as you can see from here. I have some hills drilled out for the speaker for a speaker, a future speaker upgrade. So, and so this look one as of now is not able to run on DCC. It won't be upgradable unless I put a can motor in it and then put a DCC decoder hardware to from the tender to the locomotive. So the locomotive is uh, obviously not my first choice, as it, it will not as it will not run the inside part of this layout. But I'm going to be running the outside because pretend these two other lines don't exist. Pretty nice locomotive, don't you think? All right, time to go into time less in three, two, one. Okay, well, that was it. That was uh, the run. Um, this look one over here, like I said, I inherited it. It's really nice, and uh, so it ran pretty well. So, for, for being run for the first time in literally months, I mean, one quarter of my of my shelf has become like so called uh, the die cast hole. <laughs> so yeah, this look one is really really cool, and it's probably one of a kind, most likely. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And of course, uh, please subscribe for more trains and other things as well, like random games, uh, gaming, etc. This is Cody3751. Ride safe.